Just to say something real quick before the video actually starts. I made this video some days ago. <laughs> so I say Oregon Scale is coming out very soon because this is like the day before it came out. I, yeah, I know it came out already, but I'm going to say that a few times in the video. A blackout made me postpone finalizing videos for a few days. But now that the lights are back on in most of the city, at least, I think. At least I know my lights are back on. Now I'm posting this video and some others that I made during the time, at least when my phone had juice. So uh, now I'm starting the real video. What up? It's your boy King Tank in this video. I'm giving a nice little tutorial on this new game I started playing called Sword Art Online Def Memory Defrag. It's a new app that just came out recently and it's pretty fun. It has a story mode where you go through the story of the actual anime and that extra quest where they have their own little stories and when you level them up you get little stories then it's a lot of story in this game and it's a uh, multi it's also multiplayer you can play you can make uh, you can get set up parties or whatever you know like like you do in role playing most role playing games so aka RPGs or whatever so it's pretty cool it's pretty fun uh, I already started playing it been playing it for a minute tried to, wanted to make sure I knew how to play first before I made this tutorial and started this series up so I made a video about a summon that I did because you're gonna see uh, gonna see me with a character that you don't start that you don't start off with or at least that I didn't start off with because I did a, a summon video that I'm gonna post after this but I recorded it before this so it's kind of weird but anyway but yeah, so I'm gonna teach you how to play. It's pretty fun. Let's get it. Alright, so here it is right here. Sword Art Online Memory Defrag. Really high rating so far, about 35,000 ratings, and it's at 4.8. So that's really good. All right, let's jump right on in. All right, yeah, let's see. Now, I've already started playing, and it's pretty uh, interesting. It has many different characters from the show on it as well as some new characters which I'm guessing are from Ordinal Scale the movie that is coming out soon very very soon it's it's, re it, it's really interesting with the way it is on here daily bonus get reward login campaign right, let's see alright so Right now, that's my uh, starting character. This is my account right here, King Tank YT. So if you wanna, if you wanna uh, friend me, then you, all you gotta do is search that, or well, follow, because that's what they do on here. Just collecting my rewards really quickly. Just like to get that out the way. All right, so now. What you're doing here is uh is it's basically is a set of different things you do the way you play is, is you put your finger on the screen and then you slide it forward to move in that direction and so you move up and down and left and right when you're fighting let's see you tap to fight if you have like a character with a staff then they blast if you tap it or if you tap multiple times, you do multiple blasts, and then if you hold it, I mean, if you hold down the uh, blast button, they do a charge attack, and I'll show you that in battle. And then with, with someone with a sword, they do slashing attacks where they swing their sword and attack. It's the only types I've used so far. Let's see. This story, uh, this place throughout the story, but I want to get to showing you the gameplay, so I'm going to skip through that so I can get to a new mission. Let's see. All right, here we go. You get support characters, 
sometimes they give you a certain support character sometimes you can pick from random people let me show you how this battle how this battle system works tap to blast oh crap and then when you hold it down boom see it hits with a charge attack there's also super moves you can press to do yeah and let's see boom see yeah it's pretty cool and then there's sword types when you switch out if they have mana they attack you can tap to attack with your sword you hold down to block with melee types and then you parry by blocking at just the right time which I'm not all that good at What you do is when you're fighting, you hold down on the screen to block with a, with a melee type character. And if you press it at the perfect time, you parry, which I am not good at. <laughs> I'm trying to show you guys for the... Oh crap, if you block too much, you get dazed. But it also makes it a good time when you parry to a good time to switch out so you can so they can come in and get an automatic critical hit but overall the gameplay is really simple it's really simple it's not too complicated and different types of attackers have different ways of attacking which is pretty cool it's really it's really interesting and it's a fun game to run through when you uh you got some time to play all right so now, there's a lot of other aspects to it. You get a random reward whenever you win. The more, the, the more you complete, the better the rewards, of course. When it, when it comes to like quest goals or whatnot. Now, they also have down here, you see at the bottom it says, down here, right here, it says extra quests. You click that to go to bonus missions where they have different, uh, different things going on like all these different ones including equipment creation events for the or no scale stuff you can mine for crystals you can get beginner equipment right here you can mine for these different crystals for the different crystals as well as for coins which is coal in this game but yeah so like the ordinal scale one it episode zero it's like a prequel to the movie so it's pretty cool i played it already all the way through it's uh it's pretty cool what they do what they have in it now let's go back to the town now if you want to go to the quests from the town you just go up here and that's where the quests are now to summon characters you can go to this board or you can just go to scout which is down here on your uh tabs menu but scouting is where you do missions you can do characters where they have the they have flower one the cheerleader one uh let's see and they have the ordinal scale one which is the one i do in my video that you'll see posted after re i mean quickly soon soon after this one is posted and then they also have weapons one flowers for the flower weapons the cheerleader weapons and ordinal scale weapons which is pretty cool. Let's see. And let's show you how to upgrade characters. Now, well, no, first, the way to change your party down here, you see it. Oops, wait. Okay, down here, you see this party button right here. Click that. And it pops up the characters that are in your team. You can enhance characters. You click that right there. Then it'll pop up your experience potions. Right now, I don't have any because I used them on my Azuna to get her up some levels when I just unlocked her. All right, let's see. And it also pops up your items list whenever you press uh, back from that screen. I have a ton of different items for a ton of different things or whatever. But let's get back to it.
There is also, you can click this characters button right here and it just pops up all the total characters you have. And you click them to see, you know, their stats, what kind of weapons they use. You can look at their sword skills. You can look at their battle skills, their profile and equips. Pretty easy menu to use. You can edit your party by pressing the added party button. Of course, you press the face up there and then you press down there. So I'm not actually about to do that, but uh, only you press down there and then it would switch them. While that spot is clicked, you can switch anybody into that spot easily. Now, there's also this right here. It's a quick way to edit equips for the team that you have in. You can do it's a weapon, it's armor, and it's accessory. You need certain types of weapons for certain types of characters. So only certain types can have certain things. You can't equip every character with every type of weapon. Let's see. Uh, also, you can have different teams. I don't, but you can. You can have a total of, I believe, five teams. Yeah, five teams. And it goes back to the beginning. And let's see what else is there. Oh, I forgot one other thing that's important to know about characters. You can edit, you can, um, this unlock attributes button right here. Let you see my cursor on. <laughs> let's see, maybe, there we go. It's right here. Click that. It'll take you to this web. What you do is you click the one you want to upgrade and then it pops up. Let's see. Pops up. Okay, I know. I have to go to someone who has doesn't have all of the ones they can currently have unlocked. Unlocked. So then you go to that. When you click on one of them, it shows you which shards you need to use. Then you would press the blue circle and it would do it. But I don't have enough right now, so I can't do it. And when you get to higher levels, like when you get to level 10, you have to use a key to unlock the level 10 abilities. As well as, well as level 20 does the same. And as you can see right here, level 30 is locked. See, even when you hit level 30, that lock stays there. Once you click it, it actually do, do you want to unlock it? And that's what you use your unlock keys for. Now, you use one unlock key to unlock all of that level skills for that character. But if you don't have the key, then you can't unlock the skills for that character. So that's something you may have to grind for in the future. The upgrade menu here, which is for upgrading weapons. You press upgrade and you click the weapon. Then you can raise the level by pressing this right here. And then you would press the, uh, you would press the circle and it upgrades. Does this nice, cool looking animation. And just upgraded that for nothing, but hey, I just wanted to Show for the video. I should, probably should have upgraded that. Oops. <laughs> well, so as you can see, whether it's weapon or armor or whatever, it all upgrades the same way. You can evolve items, but to do that, you have to have two of the item and they both have to be max level. You can sell items right here, or you can look at the list of items you have. And um, that's for them. That's almost it. They also have up here, there's a tab that says mission. You click the mission tab and you can see daily missions, which there's none available because I've cleared them all. But there's also missions over here. And there's a lot of things you can do to get a lot of things, including a lot of, uh, a lot of, um, these rainbow gem things. Memory diamonds, that's what they're called. Yeah, and yeah, there's a lot of different things you can do to get a lot of those stuff to get level keys. And it's a lot of things you can do to unlock a lot of stuff easily. So it's not really it's not really pay to play or pay to win or anyway. I mean, you can e you can easily get up enough stuff to unlock a lot of different stuff just by playing. Also, they have a multiplayer system which that is new and kind of in the works still what you do is is you can start 
you can start a quest. Like say, I want to start one for equipment creation. And then I can form a co-op party. Oh, well, click that, click that. And boom, and then I would have to wait for others to join. But the problem is, is I mean, it's not a lot of people searching for random quests. So yeah. if there's the uh, issue with that, so this is probably better. If you actually have people that you play this with, so then you guys can start together because then you can search the number. Then all you would have to do is type it in here and then press the blue circle and then boom, you can find it. Or find friends, so if you're already friends on here, then they'll pop up. So the multiplayer feature is more towards people who have friends who play as well. There's also a chat feature right here in this corner right here, you just press the little chat button and you can send a message. And you send it, boom message is up so it's not really used it's not used a lot I've seen it used a lot of different times but I mean well I've seen it used a few different times but I haven't seen it used a lot not not many people use the chat but this game is also relatively new let's see menu you can go to menu to change notices to get more friends let's see you can go to your status to give yourself you see you add it user photo and you go to titles and you can change your title here to different ones you unlocked these are all the ones that i've received so far and right now the ordinal scale episode zero is the one that i wanted uh, the one that i like the most out of all of them so that's the one i'm using right now this is also how you edit how you edit your username or the comment that goes on your profile let's see and I believe that's it there's also a shop right here which of course is where you can buy memory diamonds they also start you off with a deal where you can buy 50 for one dollar so of course I bought that I mean it's just one dollar and for the most part, that's uh, everything you can do, I believe. At least that's everything I've learned about so far. So far in the game. That's everything that I've learned about. And when I learn more things, I'll show you more. And it also has the full everything that happened in SAO Season 1. All on here. It doesn't have the GGO part in the regular quests because it ends with the skull reaper which the skull reaper was the thing that you that they fought in the, well i'm not well i'm not sure if everyone that's going to be playing this game has actually seen the entire you know the entire entire first season of sal so i'm just gonna leave it at uh this this quest pretty much says that it goes all the way to the end of the show the first season that is and that's everything that you need to know you know to get off plan right make sure you use your items uh make sure you use your items on the right character so you don't run out don't waste your experience experience potions on any old hero for the simple fact that you don't get a lot of them and at the moment i don't know a way to grind them so i wouldn't waste them out use them sparingly and for the most part that is all also it can get annoying going back and forth between the screens but it's easy to just press the menu and go back to town so that's everything that you can do on this game also also you can jump and you can attack when you jump and that is all folks so you know who it is it's your boy king tank we all can shout for no reason i'm out